Have you been feeling like you're in a personal rut lately? Well, stay tuned. I want to share with you how getting clear can help you get unstuck in the areas of your life where you may feel stuck. Let's get into it. Welcome, I'm Tiffany A. Hale, the Empowerment Mogul. And if you're new here, welcome back to the Tip Tuesday podcast, where every week I share wise counsel and wisdom tips to help you achieve personal success, grow spiritually, and lead with influential impact. I had a question from one of our community members that I want to answer on today's podcast. But before I jump in, if you ever have any questions that you want to ask me about personal development, personal impact, personal success, spiritual growth, you can email me at admin at tiptuesday.net. You can leave a comment under this video or any other video, or you can follow me on my other socials. The links are in the bio and you can DM me any questions that you may have. And so the question I got from the community member, she said that she is in a season of just feeling stuck. She's in a rut. She keeps trying to get out. She's trying new things. She's stepping out there, but she can't seem to just get out of this rut where she's feeling stuck and she doesn't know where she's going and what she's doing. And I've been here before. And if you are a leader of any sort, I'm pretty sure that you have been here too. And one of the main reasons that we feel stuck or in a rut in certain seasons of our lives is because we're unclear. A lot of times we've transitioned into a new season and with that transitioning or through our personal transformation process, we really haven't went back to the drawing board to update, refresh, revamp, or get clear again on our life's vision or our personal vision. And so we're still running off of an old vision when we're in a new season, or we could think that we do have a new vision but you just haven't gotten clear on it. So there is two sides of this coin that I want to talk about. It's being unaware. Sometimes you're just unaware of um, the new thing that you want or that you desire. And then two, you're not clear on the new thing that you want or that you desire. And when you are not clear, you will get stuck because clarity brings direction and direction brings speed. And so until you get clear, you're going to find yourself, even if you're moving, moving at a slow pace and not necessarily because it's the pace that you set for yourself, but you're moving at a slow pace but you're moving at a slow pace because you don't know exactly where you're going or where you're headed. So when someone is feeling personally stuck, I always ask this question and I'm asking you, what is your personal desire right now, today, in this season? Not what you want 10 years from now, well, not what you want five years from now. Those, those questions are important, but they are too far off to get you out of the personal rut you may be in right now. Or envision yourself in that you feel like this weight or this burden or this foggy cloud will lift up off of you. A lot of times, you know, we, we look at high level. We look at, you know, our purpose and we're looking at our assignment and we're looking at our goals five years down the line. But I want to reel us into the present today. What is the object of your affection? What is your heart's desire that you believe if you get that or if you get to that, it will break you out of this place that you're in. And so that's a question to think about. And actually we could say that's tip one. <laughs> that's something to think about. What is the desire that will bring me peace? And it doesn't have anything to do with someone outside of you or externally doing something for you. It's something that could happen through you. When you get a, um, an idea of what your personal desire is, it can start leading you to the road of cultivating or figuring out your personal vision. But without a vision, the people perish. We become stuck or we get in like this wandering um, cycle because we don't know the new place where we want to be. Particularly, again, those who have come out of the last season you were in, you don't wanna go back to that season, but you quite don't know where you want to go now. And so it has to do with self-awareness. You ask someone, I, I get this so much like working with clients, 
I ask them what do they want and it's the hardest question in the world because they haven't really sat down and thought about what is it that you want, not what you wanna do for people, what would bring you personal fulfillment or even purpose fulfillment. It's time for you to go back to the drawing board and to the drawing table of your life. And I mean, we have to do this every so often. Once we've completed like some big assignments or big accomplishments or achievements in our lives, or if the thing we once were doing that gave us purpose, fulfillment and satisfaction is no longer bringing that fulfillment or that joy to our lives or our hearts, it's time to go back to the drawing board because we've probably accomplished what we needed to accomplish in that season. You know, I had heard I was in devotion and um, I, like I said, I've, I've been through this season myself. I was in devotion and I just heard the Lord say, it is finished. And and I'm saying like, oh, wow. Well, <laughs> what's finished, Lord? And, um, he just said, the, everything that I wanted to get to you, through you, and um, for you to be conformed by in that last season is accomplished. My purpose for you in that last season is accomplished. And so therefore, that season is finished. And it's time for you to um, hear something fresh and go in a fresh direction. And so I just um, implore you even with that, if you are feeling stuck, just really sit down and meditate. Are you in a new season? And is that season that you were in finished? And if it's finished, then it's time for you to get a new personal vision in place. And this can be fun. It's so fun because it's based on our desire. It's based on our will. It's based on what we want. It gives us drive. It's the motivator behind what we want to do. There's nothing like moving forward with a personal desire. And here's a quick tip. It is normally right in front of you. It's the thing right in front of you that you're not paying attention to, but you think it's so small or it's so normal to you or it's so close to you that you are, that you're overlooking it. I'm going to challenge you today to just get a notebook, get a paper, and just begin to write out everything you think you want. What would be that thing that snaps you out, that gives you that aha moment that says, this is it. This is what I want to do, or this is where I want to be. This is where I want to go. This is what I want to have. Be honest with yourself, and this is where self-awareness comes in. Just do that self-reflection, do that introspection, and see what lights our fire as we're looking at it. You know, I went through this um, exercise myself. I was moving into some new areas, and I was moving into some new seasons, and I something just wasn't clicking with what I wanted to do. I had a general idea, but something just wasn't clicking. And I sat down and I said, well, you know, let me just write out a couple things. Like right now in this moment, what do I want? Like without even thinking about all the moving forward, what do I want right now? And when I thought about it, it was so close to my heart. It was there in my mind all the time. And actually I had been saying it a few times, but it didn't register because I thought like, well, that's not, that's not it. That's not the thing that's going to bring me joy. That's not the thing that's going to bring me fulfillment. That's not the thing that's going to, you know, make me feel like I'm successful. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jokes on me. <laughs> it was the very thing that I needed. Just wanted to stop by quickly today and say, if you're feeling stuck, the problem may be that you're not clear. Getting clarity on what you want, getting clarity on your desires, getting clarity on your needs for today will help you get out of the rut that you've been in. Hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can catch all my weekly empowerment videos. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you have a question about anything or you want some counsel or advice with your personal development, your personal impact, and your personal transformation journey. I got this video in the corner if you want more tips and wise counsel on personal impact and success. Until next week, continue to grow in your authentic power and be blessed.